All right, Michelle. Hello. Michelle, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? I am originally from Toledo, Ohio, but moved to Lutz, Florida when I was very young. And uh, tell me about your childhood. You had both your parents? Uh, my you... parents divorced when I was three, and I've lived with my mom most of my life. How would you describe your childhood? My childhood, I have been a, a nudist uh, pretty much my entire life. Even as a kid? Even as a kid, yes. You, you were living on the, in the resort? I was not living in the resort, but we came here every weekend and we lived in basically a nudist household where we would just basically be naked. And of course, when people came to the door, we would put on clothes. But, but you're, you're doing everything, having dinner naked, you're... Dinner naked, uh, watching TV naked, everything naked. And this was driven more by your mom or your dad? My mom. This was with my mom. How did dad feel about it? Dad did not know. Um, I told him when I was 18. So you, you guys hid this from your dad. The divorce made that easier. Yes, we did not tell my dad until I was 18. And he never really accepted it. He passed um, in 2017 and he never understood it his whole entire life. So it was weird with him, but uh, it's still, um, I still live in a naked household and uh, my mom and I own a place together and her boyfriend lives with us and it's still a naked household. Do you have a, a boyfriend or a husband? I have a boyfriend. And is he part of this community as well? Uh, he is getting into it and um, he is accepting it and starting to enjoy it. Tell me what most people don't understand about it. Because you know, in America, in the United States, it's like nudity is a big deal. Yes. People are very uptight about nudity. Yes, it's a very misunderstood culture. Uh, it's just basically we do everything like normal people. We just don't wear clothes. And it's... You mow, you mow the lawn naked. You... Well, I don't... You people, not you, but... I mean, yeah, other I, people, yeah, you can I, mow the I, lawn outside, naked. There's, there's, people, there's, a, there's a guy mowing the lawn naked. There's this, people playing volleyball naked. There's a band that's out there playing. Everyone's dancing naked. Exactly, and, yes. You do everything. You eat dinner. You, you know, watch TV. You, and everybody has this little smile on their face, and everyone's relaxed. It seems very pleasant here. It's very pleasant. Everyone is accepting of everyone. Uh, there's all types of uh, body types, and there's all different... Uh, you know, you know, there's any type of religion, uh, there's all types of uh, races, uh, you know, everyone is accepting. Um, it's great. It's just fabulous. And, you know, I, growing up, I was never body conscious. And that's what I think people need to, to know, is that being a nudist is just so self-freeing. And it's really just, it's just a lifestyle that is so calm and open. And we're also accepting of people. We actually have, um, I'm actually uh, a member at uh, Paradise Lakes, which is an awesome resort that um which is where we are right now which is where we're at right now and uh we it is a clothing optional resort and they have the water volleyball seven days a week and they have uh we bowling they have karaoke and this is all done naked and it's great and everyone is accepting people live here uh they have a hotel i mean I just love it. I've been a member here since I was nine, and I am 36 now, and I just I absolutely love it. If I could live here again, uh, I just live here shortly, briefly. Uh, if I could live here again, I would. And um, there's also um, a group that I belong to, and um, I am actually on the board of directors. I am the member, excuse me, I'm the membership director. It's called United Naturists, and we are a group of young adults, and also um, we actually don't have a cap, 
but we uh, get together. We are an Anner chartered um, club and we promote other nudist resorts uh, around the country. And um, we're actually started in Florida and we have um, different resorts that we get discounts for our members. And it's really, really just a, you know, great culture. Uh, so tell, tell me, I mean, it seems like everyone's in a good mood here. Everyone is always in and, a good mood you here. you know, in the real world where we're all wearing clothes and, you know, wearing sweatpants and t-shirts or whatever, it's, you don't see that kind of relaxed atmosphere. And I wonder, you know, humans are born naked. <laughs> we weren't born with exactly jeans and t-shirts or whatever. So I just wonder if, if being naked is almost more natural for us. It's so much more natural. Do, do people get in altercations here and get in arguments and fights and things like that? Like they do at the, the grocery parking lot and all that kind of stuff? No, I mean, rarely if someone gets super, super drunk. Oh yeah, well that's a different story. That's a different story. But no, I mean, people are just so friendly here. Um, I uh, took my boyfriend for the first time over to Lake Como, which is another nudist resort. And we went on a tour. And just on the tour, people were saying, hey, welcome to Como, welcome to Como. Just random, you know, people who live there and stuff. And he was just like, he felt so invited um, just on the tour itself. And it's just people who are nudist are so welcoming. We all are. And we are so friendly. I think it's just because we're just so free and there's, there's nothing to hide. Now, does this bleed into like the relationships that you'll have? I mean, are, are, are there, is it just that you're naked or is there also like a sexual aspect to this? I am not in the sexual aspect of it. There are some people who are. I, I guess, what I'm at, are there different types of nudists? There are different types of nudists. There are uh, nudists slash naturists. There are nudists um, who are also swingers um, who are in a different, that's like a different, I mean, I'm not one, but there are different, there are swingers, there are um, naturists, there are naturalists who are more, uh, I would say, I guess they're called tree huggers. <laughs> I mean, there are certain different types. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't discriminate against any of them. Um, and we try not to. None of us really do. Uh, you know, everyone does their own thing. Um, you know, as long as, you know, for me, I'm like, you know what, if you're a swinger, that's cool. Just do it in private. That's, that's fine with me, you know, Every, each to their own. I wonder if by being naked, you just kind of drop a lot of the things that, that humans have that make us unhappy. You know, the... The, the facade? Yeah, or something. I, I, I don't know exactly what the word is, but it, but it seems like just looking at everybody here and just seeing, you can just tell in the body language, everyone's just like relaxed. Yeah, we're all chill. Yeah, everybody. Everybody. Not, not just some. Everybody. Yeah, we're all we're all real chill, and I've actually brought. I, I used to do. Uh, I would bring first dates to the news resort, and they'd be like, "I'm scared," and you know, what if I get hard? And I'm just like, you know what? Trust me. We'll eat dinner, and then we'll go to like the hot tub. And after ten minutes, they're fine. They're just like, oh, people aren't really looking at me. People aren't, you know, like judging me, and it's just like, it's chill, and. They love it. So I've actually converted a lot of people, uh, what we call textiles, to the nudist lifestyle. And do you have children? I do not have children. But there's, are there kids here too? There are children here. Um, at Paradise Lakes, they're uh, welcome until 5 p.m. because of the way the um, entrance and exit is set up. There's only one entrance and exit, so they're they can only be here till five. Other resorts are set up differently so that they have more entrance and exits so they can be in certain places longer. Um, it's 
basically based on like liquor licenses and stuff like that. Um, but uh, yeah, children are welcome at Paradise. Children are welcome at a lot of different other resorts. And people live here, like children live here. And it's great. I mean, when I grew up here, there was a whole gang of us um, that actually lived here. And, and, and there's no history of child no. sexual abuse or anything like that? No. No, it was, it was great, you know, living, uh, growing up with people who lived here and stuff. We had our own little clique and no, no, no problems. No I mean, they do background checks and... Yeah. Do you, do you have friends that... Uh, have children? You no, know, friends that, that know you're a nudist and they're not and they, they frown on it or they... No, actually, you? all my friends, everyone I meet knows I'm a nudist. Um, and if you can't accept me as a nudist, uh, honestly, you can't be my friend. Yeah. So... I mean, uh, honestly, like, you're not hurting anybody. No, exactly. You're just... You're just having fun naked. Exactly, and but in, but in America, in the United States, they <laughs> people will. A lot of people are prude. Yes. Um, most of my friends are. Um, they accept it, and they would love to try it. A lot of them I've brought here or to another resort. Uh, some of them are just like, okay, that's cool. You do you. I'll do me. Um, but even some of my friends let me be naked at their house and I mean, so if you go to somebody's house, you'll be naked and they won't be and you're cool with that. Yeah. And they're cool with that. They're cool with that. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I have some really cool friends. And you're more comfortable naked than with clothes on. I am. Yes. As long as I'm not cold. <laughs> right. But yeah. Well, being in, in Florida, Southern Florida, especially you're kind of. Yeah. Most of the time. We have like two weeks of winter. You wouldn't want to be doing this in Minnesota. No, definitely not in Minnesota. Yeah, that's why I live in Florida, sunny Florida. Any crazy stories or anything like that? Um, well, we have like, we have water sports. Uh, well, I mean, we have sports. There's sports, like regular sports of all kinds. Um, uh, water volleyball is a very big one. Actually, volleyball itself is a very big sport with nudists. Um, we have uh, the tiki's. Uh, which is um, a very big group that goes around the country. And they have tournaments all throughout the year. Naked volleyball tournaments. Naked volleyball tournaments all throughout the year. Um, even up north, uh, there's some coming up, um, like the Banana Rom Cup, uh, the Tiki Tumble. Uh, uh, there's like so many, I can't even think. Super Bowl. And Super Bowl and South. Is, is it, it's more of a social. It's just well, no, it's a it's a volleyball. Yeah, I know, but it, but it's, it's kind of an excuse. It's, it's a it's a competition, but it's an excuse to be social. I'm guessing both, it's because both. it's it's you get medals. Oh, and people do get competitive. And they are very competitive. Oh, I see. So you have teams. You have they have camping. They do uh, bonfires. They have music. I mean, there's it's big. And no one ever gets out of line sexually. No, not at all. Not at all, because it's it's not meant. It's not for sexual reasons, and it's it's a very. But big, is, is it about freedom? Is it about just like? Um, these being, are just being a free spirit and just like doing what you want to do and not not being restricted or, or bound by the the rules of society. Well, these are very big volleyball players, well, and they about, just. I'm not talking about volleyball. A I'm volleyball. Talking, but, I'm talking about this the nudist camp. Oh, the nudist resorts. Uh, they just. Yeah, I mean, it's just being free and stuff. And they just, you know, these are people that just love to be naked. And they love, I mean, there's, this is a very big, uh, there's a very big volleyball following. You wouldn't believe for, for nudists. Um, and I'm, and how, how, many, how many members are at this resort? I hear, um, I don't know how many members are at this resort. Um, but roughly. A hundred, five hundred. Oh God! At least, at least, probably I would say a thousand at least. Mm. Um, I, I honestly I don't know recently, yeah. um, but I would say probably between five thousand, five hundred, and a thousand mm. at least. And there's many of them here. There's many, yes. Yeah. Yes. There's, I mean, just just in this Tampa area, there's I think oh. there's like. Eight. In the Pasco County area, this is the nudist capital of the United States. In a five-mile radius, there are six nudist resort and communities 
in a five mile radius. Right. So of right here. Um, and it is saturated with nudist communities and resorts and it's, it's fabulous. And I don't want to move anywhere else. Unless I'm moving into one of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michelle. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. Pleasure. And have fun out there this weekend. I will. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.